I'm the boss and you are going up against me. I'd like to give you what I've learned from 25 years of experience, the three most fundamental things for you to do in your next job interview. Are you ready? Here we go. Number one. State. Your emotional state when going into the interview will have a massive impact on its outcome. What do I mean with that? Studies show that if you elevate your testosterone levels, irrespective if you are a woman or a man, just prior to your interview, your chances are greater to get the job than if you did not elevate your testosterone levels. Just imagine that. Not down to your competence, not down to your delivery, but your emotional state defines your ability to get the job or not. So the question then is, how do you increase your testosterone levels? Here are a couple of tips. Number one, put on that kind of music that makes you drive your car too fast or the music that makes you feel cocky. And then find a space where you can walk around like you own the world. Do you also breathe in a fast pace going something similar like Feel the confidence grow in you. That's where you will find a state of testosterone. At the same time, also imagine that you're winning something. In a study they did on football, the fans of a winning game increased their testosterone levels by 25% and those in the losing team, the fans, they decreased by 25%. Testosterone can also be increased by thinking about you and your victory. My second tip holds such a great potential and it's so simple and that's probably why it holds such a great potential. Because the second tip is volume increase, base volume increase. I did a study of 5,000 public speakers for seven years, found 110 skills we all use to communicate and they look like this. Boom. The 110 steps. As you can see, number 14 is base volume. And what's interesting here is that it's defined as a mother skill. What does that mean? Well, that single skill impacts around 20 other skills, which is incredible. So my tip to you is this. When you go into that meeting, we tend to lower our volume because we feel a little bit intimidated. That also reduces your confidence. Do not do that. Increase your volume, your base level volume by 10% and suddenly it will impact a bunch of other skills in your delivery like your change of voice, body language, how you stand, your posture of course then, facial expressions. It is almost magic that one single skill can impact so many other skills. So your general volume throughout the interview 10% higher than what you were going to use. Tip number three is the most important one out of the three. This is what I truly want to see in your eyes when you come in and you sit there and I interview you. What kind of charge rate do you want to leave home with? Like depleted, close to depleted or fully charged? You know that sweet scent and smell and taste of a fully charged mobile phone? It's incredible. And that's what I want to see in you. I want to see not you to be a fully charged person, but I want to see this. Because this, this is the core driving force of any organization. And if everyone is excited, boom, you can, we can create whatever you want us to create, or we can create phenomenal things together. So it's important for you to show this. How do you do that? And the first and the most simple way is you to become excited before going into the interview. Read up on my company, read on up on what we do, on our values, on our missions, become excited for what we do. If I see that in your eyes, ooh, I want you to come into the workforce. Can you show it through your skills? Can you hijack this in any way? Yes. By applying skill number nine out of the 110. Increase pace now and then when you wanna show more excitement. It's a brilliant way to do it. And you can hack your brain by adding functional gestures. So instead of just sitting still, you can show things with your hands. We can say, well, we're here today, we could go here. I love doing this and this and this. 
Functional gestures tricks your brain into thinking that you are more excited than you are, which is brilliant when you're nervous, because excited and nervous can sometimes be difficult to be at the same time, and excitement always wins over nervousness. The final one is 49, which is varied pace of your gestures equal to your voice. So sometimes go slow in your gestures and sometimes become excited in your gestures. All of this comes natural to you if you build excitement from within. But if you can't reach that and you're too nervous, you can hijack your brain by playing these cards. There you go, three fundamental tips, the most important ones I've learned in my 25 years working in this business. Number one, see to that you increase your testosterone levels before going in, building confidence. Number two, increase your bass volume by 10% while speaking through the interview to increase even more confidence. And number three, show your excitement, build it from within or use the skills so that I gave you. Are you ready to take me down? I think you are. Oh, and by the way, if you found this intriguing, interesting, and you think it can have a great impact in your career and business life, well, in the description, you can find a free ebook and a link to a free training in public speaking and presentation skills. Check it out.